Hello. It's all gloom and doom down on the farm here in the UK. The weather has been very uncharacteristic. Check out this report in the daily newspaper. Hold on to this. Part way down that report, 30 degrees centigrade. That's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now check out this report and the temperatures under the heading what happened. Let me show you some of the things that happened at home grown veg. These are a couple of my leeks grown in 10 inch water buckets. The leeks are nearly 12 inches long, so we're pleased with that. But I think you'll agree, they're quite skinny. These are some of my parsnips. In previous years, I've needed to use a spear to dig the parsnips out, and the tops have been at least three to four foot tall. This year, the tops were less than a foot tall, and as you can see, these parsnips are small and thin. So that was two vegetables that didn't do so well at long drawn veg, but it's not all gloom and doom here at long drawn veg. Check out this onion, and I had another 60 or so onions just like it. Did you notice in both those reports there was no mention? of what effect the weather might have had on next year's sweet potatoes. Did you notice that? Well, if you didn't, you've noticed it now, and I certainly noticed it. Um, and for that reason, you might want to make some contingency plans. Let me show you what I am doing. Let me just uh, pop to the fridge and I'll show you what we're doing here at home grown veg. I would normally, in any gardening year, set aside some of my own potatoes to use as sweet potatoes in the following year. I would also set aside some store-bought potatoes um, and use those in the following year. This year, it might be more advantageous to do that. Because if sweet potatoes have been affected by that six weeks of really hot weather, then they're possibly going to be a lot smaller than they are um, usually uh, and if you're going to order them when they arrive chances are there's going to be a lot more smaller ones in the bag than you would normally get. 
massive sweet potatoes have been affected. As I've already said, I don't know that's the case, uh, but we're going to use this as a bit of an insurance policy. Oh, can you hear that rate? Oh, no you can't. I mean, I can hardly hear myself speak. That rain has been relentless. All day it's been like this. All day. Anyway, let me see what we've got in these bags. Just brown paper bags. We'll do this one first. I've got about half a dozen of these in this bag. Okay. Sap or murder. These are the sap that I grew this year. These are the sweet potatoes. These guys have been in the fridge now about a month. They're just sitting in the salad drawer in this brown paper bag. Nice and cold, nice and dry, nice and dark. I'll we'll bring these out in the spring of next year. I know how big my sweet potatoes are going to be. Do you know how big your sweet potatoes are going to be? Right, so that's sap or meter. On incidentally, yeah, you're going to put anything in the fridge. Make sure you put a ticket in with it and you don't get mixed up. That's sap or murder. Saxon. I've grown this potato before. These guys are shop bought potatoes. those guys out. Just the right size. Just bigger than a golf ball, smaller than a tennis ball. Just the right size. That's Saxon. Now I haven't got all the potatoes I want for next year just yet. These are all I've got so far. Uh, but over the next month or two, uh, I'll increase the number of seed the number of store-bought potatoes so that they have at least half a dozen different varieties. Never grown this guy before. I'll show you a couple of these. I'll show you three of these. I think there's four or five in that bag, half a dozen. That's Jemson, another shop-bought potato. I don't know how big my sweet potatoes are going to be, these are them. If you want to wait and see what turns up through the post, I'll see what turns up in the shop. Um, but hey, I don't know what's happening with sweet potatoes this year any more than you do. Unless you've seen a report in the press, and if you have, uh, please send us a comment. Please let us know what, what's been said about how the weather might have affected sweet potatoes in the UK. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. You might want to do the same, you might not. Um, but in any case, that's a heads up. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.